Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jeremy and today we're going to be asking the age old questions on which my friends in high school are asking me, is high school harder than college? And honestly, um, this is kind of like a 50 50. Not really. I don't even know what I'm talking about. No, but um, honestly, high school is harder in some parts than college in my opinion and college is definitely harder than the high school in some parts in my opinion as well before i dwell into this topic my name is jeremy i post college content videos whether it's my thoughts life rants questions or anything so please give a subscribe if you're interested i post videos weekly so there's always something to look forward to every week so is high school really harder than college in my opinion i feel like college education is definitely harder um i've taken some philosophy classes i don't know music classes even and just the general education in general it definitely requires a lot of thinking um it's not just like high school where you could just you know zone everything out or like even if i zone stuff out in high school like i'd still be able to get it in college you definitely need to pay attention and one thing that's definitely harder in college is taking notes because when you take notes in high school, you know, they usually have a nice PowerPoint up there. You know, everybody's notes are literally copy and paste. And uh, it's not like that in college, you know, you, sometimes the professor doesn't even write anything down on the board and you just have to write it down based on what you hear. And if you miss it, then you just miss it. Or you could always, I mean, you could always ask a friend or, you know, look at notes online. But, um, you know, in high school, it's just so much easier, especially when they post the lecture notes online and stuff. I mean, not that college professors don't do that, but again, like I said, if they're talking and you have to write down the notes as they're talking, that's definitely harder to take notes on, um, especially if you don't even know what, you're what they're talking about. So when it comes to studying for tests, um, I gotta say that college studying is definitely harder in high school because like I said, the notes aren't always the same as everybody where they have the same template. Um, in college, you know, it depends and it just varies whether uh, how good of a note taker you are. So, you know, sometimes the professor could just be going really fast and just, you're just kind of lost at it. And you're just like, well, what the hell is going on? <laughs> you know, that's like, that's me all the time, honestly. Um, yeah, I sound like a bad student, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Maybe I am a little. Like I said before, I'm always on my phone um, and it's just definitely harder for me to take notes if I'm just always on my phone, which I should probably stop but I don't because I'm just lazy. In college, one thing I noticed is that definitely there's a lot of college papers and it's, you know, a lot. it could be kind of hectic. And the worst I've written, and don't judge me on this, I know people have written worse, okay? Don't think I have it easy, I'm, I'm still getting there. But the worst paper I've written was about like six pages and it's about like a topic that I don't really even know on it. Whereas in high school, you know, it's probably just like, you know, they go, they go more on words like, oh, give me a thousand words, uh, a thousand word essay on this or a thousand five hundred word essay on this. And you know, a thousand words, probably like what, two to three pages. Um, and you get like what, a week, two weeks, three weeks. Uh, for me, that six page paper, I had to do it in like a week. So yeah, you could definitely just imagine how kind of stressful it is. What I like about uh, college is that like, well, my professors at least is that they don't enforce MLA. And that's kind of like a good thing because in high school, I never know how to cite things properly. Like the parentheses or like the period goes outside the parentheses, in the parentheses, author's last name page number i would never really know where that even went so now let me show you where high school can get stressful it could be stressful if you have a lot of extracurricular activities like orchestra or band or you know where whether you just stay out late practicing those things sports and then you don't get to study at night or you don't get to you know have some time to look at your notes and stuff and do your homework and another big time eater and stress that's added to high school is this bad boy right here this is literally the killer, man. I mean, this one test, this is probably where a lot of your high school stress probably even comes from. <laughs> As you can see, being the lazy student that I am, I never read, took notes or anything. I probably like even tried some of the questions, probably like the question number one and uh, just stop. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even, I did not, I hardly use this book. It was probably the biggest waste of my life. Like, look at this, man. This is freaking thicker than my like index finger right there. And I have a pretty big index finger. Yeah, SAT is a big uh, part of your high school life. And that's just what it is. I mean, I personally don't believe in one exam determining your entrance to a college or not, but that's just how it goes in America. So that's how you gotta do it. But one thing that I love about college and I love, love about college is the flexible scheduling and the fact that you get to pick your own professors. Like. That is literally a blessing. I swear to God, you could always go to ratemyprofessors.com if you don't know what it is, basically ratemyteachers.com if you don't know what that is, basically where you talk shit about your teachers. And that's honestly the biggest time saver of my life because I get to just pick out the best 
professors out there and the best time for the classes, you know, merge them together if I'm ever lucky and win the lottery. And I just go together with that plan. And honestly, that's the best part about college is because I get to pick my own schedule and my own teachers. That literally is like a make or break for your grade because some professors are super, super hard, super, super strict. And if you're not paying attention to the reviews, then you could get screwed. But thank God for college, uh, you actually have an option unlike high school, which makes it a little easier on my life. So that's one part where college is a little easier. And also the scheduling, like I said, you could always pick morning classes and then at night you have time for a part-time job, you have time for family, you have time for your homework, man. And that's just the best part. Or you could, you know, let's just say you're, you're a person who likes to sleep in. Um, perfect, you just pick night classes. I mean, usually night classes have less traffic when you commute there or like if you commute. And yeah, that's just probably the best part about college, man. It, flexible scheduling. In terms of social life, I would say high school is probably better in social uh, life wise. Everybody has the same time lunch. Like I said, college, you have different scheduling. Everybody's schedules are mixed up here and there. But high school, man, you have like the same time lunch with your friends and you, you know, you know them for four years and even like past, like if you know them from middle school to or elementary school, you know, and you go way back, like, you know, you have these like off campus passes and that's definitely something you look forward to for lunch. Like you have all these friends, you, you ask them to go out like, hey, oh, you know, let's grab this for lunch, even though you have like an hour for lunch. But still, it's just like, it's the best part about high school. You know, everybody just gets together. Whereas in college, you know, all your friends and even if your friends go to the same college, you have different schedules and sometimes they don't even match up. So that's just probably one good part about high school. It's just a social life, man. It's crazy. There's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of drama if you're into that type of stuff. But yeah, high school is definitely the winner for that, man. The one part about college that's definitely kind of harder than high school is just keeping your responsibility. Um, there's no teachers, no one's gonna bug you to, hey, like register for this class at this time, or, you know, tomorrow's registration day, or tomorrow's um, club day or whatever, you know, there's no, no one really pushing you to do that. And if you're not responsible enough to do that, then that's definitely just harder on your part because college, man, you just gotta do it yourself. And that's just one part that I gotta, gotta like keep, uh, like keep in mind and just write a calendar or something like that because I'm really bad with dates and times and sometimes I have an exam coming up and I'm like, oh shoot, I completely forgot about that. Or like a paper coming up, and I'm like, oh shoot, I completely forgot about that. Like there's just no one constantly reminding you. And that's just that's just one part about it, man. Like uh, that's one part about it, having different classes from your friends because your friends sometimes are in different classes and they don't tell you that something is coming up. You just, you just have to be responsible for yourself. And one thing about college is that you definitely have to be fast. So if you want to change your major, if you want to, if you want to cop a textbook, you want to grab, you want to get the nice teachers, you want to get the easy homework and I don't know, a lot of stuff that you want, you have to go fast and it's pretty much on like a first come first serve basis, unless if it's a lottery system, but most of the part it's first come first serve, which is like definitely harder in high school because high school, everything is just planned out for you. Like your schedules literally comes out nice, uh, even though you don't get the teachers that you want, but you know, they, they arrange it for you. You don't have to stress about it. It's kind of like RNG, like a lottery system. Like, oh, look, here's my schedule. Oh, look, here's my schedule. And then uh, for college, you just got to plan it out yourself, man. And that's definitely one of the harder parts about college. And you know what college is harder on too? It's harder on your wallet, man. Like that, that stuff burns $100, $200, like a book. And it's just crazy. And all these online access codes are like 50 bucks. I could like add another $10 of that and have Call of Duty Modern Warfare for a lifetime, you know? Is it really worth it? Do I really wanna be paying $50 for just like three months, four months of my life? And yes, I do because I need it. And if I don't, then I'm gonna fail and I'm gonna fail and I'm gonna get my good degree and I'm just gonna be like homeless. Putting that aside, overall, overall, I'd say, I'd say high school is harder. Just like, I feel like harder is just very subjective, but I feel more chilled out in college. I don't know if it's because I'm taking GEs right now, or easy classes. I mean, I know it's just gonna get harder from now on, but I feel like high school was definitely harder for me. Just my own personal opinion. But um, yeah, that's just the main takeaway from this video. Um, hopefully I brought up some good points. And if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you want more content. My name is Jeremy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.